happy are you to see him back and what are you expecting from him? Yeah, I'm really excited to see him back and expectation, I want him to go out there and pitch. Don't over throw, don't over analyze, just go pitch. I mean, this could we could use this to our advantage where it was a nice little bit of a blow for him, uh, fully confident that he's healthy and if he's efficient, would expect it'll be very close to a normal start. And then Yanni Chirinos, obviously he was, he was a big part of the organization for a long time. Just what went into to DFAing him today? Yeah, one of the tougher conversations that I think I've had and maybe the organization's had in recent years, Yanni meant so much to so many people. Uh, when you sign as a 17-year-old or whatever he was and you, you spend so much time, uh, the impact, the influence that he had on teammates, uh, coaches, staff, you know, it, it, it's a pretty long list. So it was a difficult decision decision, discussion, but uh, Yanni's going to find him ways in the big leagues. Uh, he'll find his way to continued success, we know that. Maybe a little dad power with Yanni Diaz coming back. He said the baby's healthy, everybody's healthy. Yeah, uh, excited to have Yanni back. <laughs> We've talked quite a few times over the last couple days. I'm glad he's back in our lineup. Uh, I'm sure he's a little bit tired. He's going to be tired for quite some time now, but regardless, tired or not, we've seen him tired in the past. He can still hit Kelly's outfit? No. What is it? Is it cowboy? No. Uh, he's wearing a cowboy uniform on the field. Uh, <laughs> his teammates decided to discipline him a little bit. Okay. I, I, I will look at it. I'm sure it's entertaining. Going back to Yandi having him back in the lineup. He's on the field net? He's, he's doing stretch and high knees in there. He's doing stretching right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Having Yandi in the back at the top of the lineup. You know, he won two at three games. Yeah. Probably missed him a little bit. Anytime he's not in the lineup, we miss him. So, yeah, it is nice to have him back. He set a tone for us all season long. I mean, obviously being an all-star, the, the the combination of the, the power, the on-base ability, we couldn't ask for a better leadoff hitter. And when he's not around for the three days, we saw the side effects of it. And then speaking of setting the tone, this is a pretty big stretch for you all coming up. We've got five winning teams on the calendar coming up. How important is it to set the tone against the first place Rangers and have a competitive series here in Texas? I'd like to think that we're going to have mo most of our series are going to be competitive. They're a very good team. We got we saw that back at home where it was a lot of good ball games, good pitching, good hitting, and would expect that that would be the same here. And you know, I think the best thing we can do is kind of stay in the moment and let's focus on the Texas Rangers, and then we'll get to this next series once we get through that. Kevin, what have been your impressions of the Texas? Rangers? Say that again. What, what have been your impressions of the Texas Rangers? I mean, look, they're really talented. You could tell by the representation that they had at the All-Star game. They got a lot of people that are doing good things on the pitching side, on the off offensive side. You know, Bruce Bochy being back in baseball means a lot. Um, so they're very, very talented, and we got to go. We got to play good baseball to have find a way to have, win games or have success here. Bradley, you mentioned he was happy with those first three innings. His last outing, maybe the fourth, that got away from him a little bit. What did you see from him in that game? What do you expect uh, coming into today? Yeah, I mean, look, I agree. Really good stuff. I don't know if it got away from him. He looked like he left a breaking ball kind of middle middle end to Murphy, a really good hitter for a three-run homer. But Taj's stuff has been good every single start. I want to see him have a little bit, you know, make, make his own good fortune, but have a little bit of luck. I feel like he's been a little unlucky for us, and eventually you got to change that on your own, but really encouraged with the way he's thrown the ball, the, the, the way this stuff is playing. I know we've talked about this a bit the last few weeks or so, but what do you want to pinpoint from this group right now, maybe to get the ball rolling a little bit here after the All-Star break? Um, I mean, just maybe some consistency in the lineup. Felt like last night, you know, we hit some balls really hard. We hit balls really far, just to the wrong parts of the ballpark. Uh, but find a way to get keep getting guys on base and see if we can get, you know, that big timely hit. Josh at center today, you know, I've done that a couple of times, but just trying to get all the lefties in yeah. and pieces together. Yeah, and Josh's mom and dad are here, so I want to make sure he plays. Okay. Yeah, you want to make up for the last series? I didn't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, um, what are you seeing with Brandon? I know he's, he's trying and he's trying to get on a roll here, but what, what have you been seeing? Over the um, look, I think yesterday he took some really good swings. Uh, he's been pitch tough, there's no doubt. I mean, he saw he got it in a 3 2 count. Foul, foul ball, foul ball, foul ball, and they, I think they were all change-ups. The, the league is recognizing you better throw them off-speed pitches down in the zone. 
Brandon's done it for a long time. I, I still continue to have very strong belief that he's going to get turned around. His BP yesterday was very encouraging, so he just needs a couple hits to build off of. Then tomorrow, pitching will be one of those. See how today yeah, most likely it's going to be Littell to start, and we'll see how far he can go. And then today you're facing one of the league leaders in ERA. How important do you think it will be to attack him early and kind of prevent him from getting settled in? That'd be great. That's easier said than done, though, right? I mean, we know Nate really well from being with us, from being with Boston, and now here, it seems like it doesn't matter who he's pitching for, he finds a way to have a lot of success. I know he's leaned on his split a little heavier as of late, uh, but he's got a lot of weapons. Ideally, you know, don't let, don't get too deep in the count with him because he can get pretty nasty late in the count. The season he's having, you see a guy that's healthy. Yeah, What's that? With the season he's having, you see a guy that's healthy and you know, yeah, I mean, it's pretty remarkable given, I mean, the injuries from way back when. Uh, I think the last one was with us that he rehabbed and came back, and he's been healthy ever since. But if you know Nate, you can appreciate how hard he works, and it makes a lot of sense as why he's stayed healthy. I know we were uh, having a lot of fun with what Kevin Kelly was wearing yesterday, but just as far as the impact he's had and the pitching he's done. He's done a really good job for us. Uh, I don't think any of us could have imagined and said at this point in the season, you know, accounted for the amount of success that he's had at the big league level. That's a pretty tall order to come to B Rule 5, coming to the big leagues, and then doing it on a, on a, on a really good team. Actually, it actually seems like he might even be a little bit more comfortable he said around the, around the guys. Is he good? All right, that's good to hear. <laughs> All right. Oh, what, yep. what excites you the most about Todd Browning's development? Um, I mean, he's learning on the fly. He's getting really good reps. Uh, I think that the, the best version of Taj Bradley we've probably seen at the big league level. So he's kind of risen to the occasion. Uh, I know the wins and losses and the results that here recently hasn't gone his way, uh, but he's a really, really talented pitcher with really, really good stuff.